What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back in the shop as you can see and probably by the title, you might be able to notice that we're not working on the GTR, which by the way, by the way, is coming along absolutely phenomenal. I'm just, man, it's coming out good. But today is not about the GTR. Today is about a car that, uh, man, I've been, I've been itching to get back into it. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know what it is. I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be really excited about this one, and uh, trust me, I am too. So let's go ahead, without further ado, introduce our next project. You know, since I don't really have any other customer work going on at the moment, I figured this might be a good time just to kind of dip the toes back into something that, something that I've wanted to start diving into for a long, long time. Obviously you guys know the GTR build was never supposed to be this crazy, this wild, this extreme uh, <laughs> at all. <laughs> I was just supposed to get the car, enjoy it, drive it, just, just really just have a good time with like my dream car, you know what I mean? This was uh, kind of unexpected, but here we are. The plan always was to get the 240 back up on the streets because as you guys know, this is the car that kind of started it all for me and uh, I really have a, a, a pretty good connection with the car and I really do enjoy it. I think it's gonna be cool to see it back up on the channel. Hopefully you guys are excited about it too. Let me know down in the comments. I just feel like I could break it up a little bit between the GTR build and this. This is gonna be a much more, you know, kind of uh, relatable, right? You know what I mean? So I'm excited, hopefully you guys are too. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start figuring out what the plan is. So here's my thought process. Obviously I don't have an engine for it. Funny story about that, I was actually about to go to New Haven, Connecticut today and grab myself a KA24 dual cam, but that kind of fell through. It was just almost a six hour drive each way. And although it was a good deal and it came with a transmission, I personally, I don't know, man, like obviously it's winter, uh, winter time now, so I'm not gonna be driving anytime soon, but at least it'd be cool to get the chassis prepared and ready. That way when I do come across an engine that I actually actually want, a KA is fine, all that, but let's be honest, I want something a little bit cooler. So for now, the plan is to uh, go ahead and kind of do a slight restore. We're not doing anything of the sorts of the GTR at the moment. Maybe one day we will see that sort of level but at the moment, we're just gonna focus on the exterior. We're not gonna dive underneath because this car is already extremely clean. There is no rust to report. So that's awesome, we love that, right? That's a nice change of pace. But I do think that this car needs some love and attention because I, I look at it every single day, right? And it just stares at me and it's like, hey man, give me some love, give, you, know, you know what I mean? Like it's been a while. So I think that's what we're about to do. Hopefully you guys, like I said, are looking forward to seeing this thing back up on the road. I'm hoping by next spring, by next spring, hopefully we'll have this thing on the street. Hopefully it'll be done, we'll have an engine by then. And uh, if you guys have any sort of a drivetrain, preferably an RB, right, ideally, uh, 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 honestly any RB, 20, 25, or 26, uh, let me know. Preferably one that's like torn apart or that like, is damaged, that needs some work, just because it's you know kind of more up my alley and a little bit more cost effective to do that. So let me know what you guys have, if you have anything. I've been trying to source my RB20, my initial one that I had in the car. <sighs> we'll see. So here's a quick rundown of my plan that I want to do. Guys, we're gonna tear the wrap off. The blue is gone, although the blue will look nice, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of it. That's the first thing to do. So after that, we're gonna go ahead and start doing all the body work. Cause yes, although it is extremely clean and straight, it could be straighter. So there's a couple little door dings and dents and things like that that need to be addressed. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the vinyl off, get all the paint off, prime the car, do some body work that needs to be done, get the body as straight as it can be. And then from that point on, guys, we're gonna go back and paint the car AH3. Where am I gonna paint the car? That is a question that I honestly have the, I, I don't have an answer for at the moment. Primer, I might just go ahead and do like the roll on primer, sand it, get it prepped for paint, and then figure out what to do when it comes to get it painted. But uh, yeah, I think getting back into the AH3 is the move. This car looks so good in that AH3, you guys already know. If you guys have been with me for a while, you remember how nice that color was. Unfortunately, my hood was being stored outside in Texas and uh, clearly the elements got to it pretty good. So the both corners actually of the hood are, are pretty rotted out. And that's a shame because this hood was absolutely pristine. This car itself was pristine and it still is, which 
I, I mean, it's just such a beautiful example of an S chassis, and you really can't find them like this anymore. And if you do, ha, they cost a whole hell of a lot more than what I paid for it. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead, we're probably gonna have to rebuild this. I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and scrap the whole hood just because of that. I do believe I can rebuild that, just rebuild the corners itself. Maybe we can make a quick little video about that. But that's a shame. And also these fenders kind of got bent up a little bit. I know you can get like brand new ones. Actually, I don't know, maybe they're not available anymore. And I know there's like a reproduction company that started to make them. They're on in Juku, but I've kind of heard like that they're kind of crap. So. I we will work on getting these back into shape. That should be not a problem. And then uh, we do have this Type X Type X kit. It is a rep kit, however, it does look decent. Like I said, the fender just fits up like shit at the moment, so don't mind that. The fitment usually is pretty good. But will we keep this one? Maybe. Uh, I know like the OEM stuff is just so crazy priced. I might just keep it. I do not have my front bumper, guys. For those that remember, man, this thing had a, a pig nose front bumper. And when I was loading it up to get it moved to Texas, I left it at the, at the loading station. I have no contact, I have no clue what the guy's name is, I, have no, I don't remember where it was. So my, my pig nose bumper with the OEM lip is gone. Which is pretty sad, it's pretty sad, I'll be honest. I, was, I know some people don't really like the pig nose, and I'll be honest, it's not my favorite, but at least it would be cool to at least have like the OEM bumper that came on the car, and it's gone. And the OEM lip. It's gone. So I'm not really too sure. Obviously, a Type X front is the way to go, but dude, paying like $1,500, $2,000 for a front, a front bumper, ah, that doesn't make any sense. Bro, not for a car like this, but maybe, who knows, if I find a good deal, one that's damaged, needs repaired, we'll see. I don't know why. Let me, let me take this hood off. What am I doing? Why did someone say something? That was a quick little fun fact. I do think I bought this thing in 2014. Maybe even 13. Wow. 10 years almost I've had this car. Some of you may remember in Texas I did unfortunately ruin my engine bay ah, by painting it this black flake. It's really dirty right now, you can't really see it. But there is so much flake in this paint. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I must have been entering a bass boat competition or something along those lines. But man, I'm not feeling it, right? Like it's not. It's not what I want anymore, but um, so that kind of sucks. Like I went through all that work to do all this and then now we're basically just gonna have to redo it all. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna color match it. If we're doing AH3 and going back to OEM, we're just gonna go ahead and do AH3 in the engine bay as well. Man, these hoods are heavy. But yeah, that's a shame, right? That's a shame. And someone's gonna say Sylvia front end. No, 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 pop-ups are staying. Don't worry, we're, we're, we're keeping the pop-ups. Taking a quick peek inside. It's uh, it needs some love, to say the least. Thankfully, I do have a crack-free dash, which is right there. But in general, yeah, I mean, this thing, this whole interior needs a solid cleanup. Also, you guys have heard me talk about this. God, that door shuts so good. Obviously, you got the Type X tails, and then hopping in the back here, man, like I said, whoo, she needs some, she needs a bit of care. Unfortunately, I, I don't know if I, man, I can't remember now if I threw away all the back interior. That would be a really, a, that would have been a really bad move if I did that, I can't remember. But I swore this car came like fully complete and I just don't have any of the interior to put the back together. So if anyone has S chassis, S13 rear hatch interior, which again, that's a tough ask, right? In today's day and age, let me know. It's actually not that late at the moment. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we might as well get to work on a little bit. I'm thinking we might as well just go ahead and get the interior cleaned up. And uh, yeah, man, I'm just, I'm just so excited, man. This thing is gonna be great. I don't know, it's like, you know, S chassis has been done before, this and that, but man, I just, I just wanna build my car again, right? Like, I just wanna see this thing on the street. So, especially seeing it in red again, whew, I think it's gonna look good. Let's just get to it. Let's start cleaning this thing up. All right, everyone, everyone get a good look. I'm gonna get a good look at the chaos in here. Let's see what we can do. I guess the positive side about moving is uh, having almost 50 spare moving storage containers. That's a positive. I recently found out from visiting my family in England that in England, they call this thing a router. The router. What the hell is a router, man? <laughs> All right, so I know I told you guys that a lot of me wants to go ahead and just turn this thing into like a track-oriented car, but the more I thought about it, 
The more I thought about it, I don't really think this beautiful S13 is the perfect car to do that. Let's be honest. I think we're going to keep this thing in nice, simple, simple streetcar setup, and I think that's the best way to go about it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. This, this right here is the, uh, pretty much the extent of my rear interior. That's it. Make sure there's no meese in here or anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. And this, this piece brings back memories. Yeah. Glad I made sure the seat was nice and bolted in when I put it in. Nice. Bro, what? How did I get this, bro? This is insane. This is not possible, I don't think. Oh. If anyone local looking for some S13 seats, probably S14 too. Direct bolt in. Hit me up. Phase one complete. Let me know what seats you guys think I should get for this car. Or should I just keep the ones I have? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, it's, a, it's definitely a lot easier to look at. All right, guys, that's gonna be it. I'm sure this video is already probably pretty long, but um, I hope you're excited. This is gonna be a nice little change of pace. I know you guys are thinking, oh, you should be working on the GTR. Guys, chill, I am working on the GTR. I just, this is a nice little switch up instead of just constantly doing like metal work and, and um, just stuff like that. This will be fun. Switch it up, get into something new, and uh, hopefully bring back a car that's been uh, long overdue, right? So let me know what you guys wanna see from this build. I kind of have a general idea. But look, we're just gonna take it one step at a time and it should turn out pretty damn awesome. So in the next episode, you guys are gonna see, we're gonna start diving into the color change to the exterior restoration, if you will. And it's gonna start looking pretty good, hopefully pretty soon. So uh, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later guys.